So here I've got a quick example of what we are all seeing at the moment as lash technicians. And this is our clients shedding. So here we've got our um, normal lashes, more or less. And then this represents the baby lashes that are coming through, through the shedding. Now, I don't need to sit and explain to you about the uh, stages of the lash growth and things like that. Um, there's a million videos on all of that. So what I want to do is explain how we can get through this shedding season um, and how we can help our clients. So our clients are coming for their infills and they've just lost everything. And when you look through, all you're seeing is these in between everything and your client says to you oh i've lost them all i think i'm shedding everything's had its natural lashes on the end of it so i'm shedding but you know i need an infill and really there's nothing really here in this section to be lashing um if you are somebody that does try to lash the baby lashes which i do tend to do obviously very safely then the the baby lashes don't always hold on to lash extensions because even if I bring over a 0 0.158 uh, millimeters and try and place that on there, the diameter of this in comparison to the baby lash is far too big and there is not enough surface area for that to sit on that. Plus, it's going to be too heavy. So if you have lashed your clients or if you were to try and do uh, more of a volume set, Say if you were using 0.07 and you tried to put maybe two on there, the the surface area of the base, again, it's not going to sit. And it's not even just a case of it's too heavy. Yes, it is too heavy, but it's like the, trying to put the same surface area of a toilet roll holder, so the tube of a toilet roll, onto a pen. There's, there's just not enough surface area to hold the, the lash extensions. So... If your client then comes back for their next infill while they're still going through their shed and they've lost everything, then it's because those baby's hairs do not want to hold on or cannot hold on. So what can we do? What we can do is drop our whips all the way down. So here I've got a 5D 0.03. So there is absolutely no weight on this fan. And you can see that the width of the base is pretty perfect for that baby lash. It sits quite well. So what you would need to do is just tell your client that for the next two weeks, you're going to have to just have this really light, light set on. Some of my clients that normally have like an 8-9D fan of 0.05s or 0.03s, I've taken it right down so that I can safely lash the baby hairs so that they can continue to grow. And you might think, well, that's going to look really sparse. But actually, if you manage to lash all of the baby hairs with a 0.03 or a really light 0.05, you're still going to build up a nice amount of coverage and it will get them through their lash shed.